wouldn't it be great if a crypto meltdown turned out to be your lucky break? Finova members profited from the decrease in crypto prices by shorting the asset. Most of the time, you're hoping and praying for a rise in the cost of goods. As a result, shortening Bitcoin makes me feel strange as if I now desire a crash and for it to be as deep as possible. However, this might be a terrific method to generate money in a time of uncertainty. Hey guys and welcome back to this channel. This is Chad Confirmed, bringing you the hottest news in the crypto world. First of all, you must be aware of the potential hazards of shorting since doing so incorrectly might lead to catastrophic results. To begin, let's learn how shorting works. So, let's say you're interested in earning some extra cash by trading in Bitcoin. This buy may be used for short-term trading and long-term investing. Profits increase with each dollar it increases. However, it's still a risk and shorting Bitcoin is a greater risk. There are people that believe in the demise of Bitcoin and want to cash out when it does. And all they're doing is taking out a loan to buy Bitcoin and then selling it at a current market price. They want it to decline so they can purchase it back for less, returning it to their lender and take a profit out of it as a result. To offer you some context, here are some definitions of terminology we'll be using. So, first, let me clarify that there is no difference between shorting or selling short or short selling. On the other hand, a long position entails a recurring purchase in the market with the expectation that prices would rise. Shorting is a common method of hedging and it's a great strategy to reduce the risk in your portfolio. You may have heard the term, quote-unquote, short squeeze. Let's suppose a group of short sellers on a certain asset. This causes panic among investors who want to get out of their positions and pocket some money as their price rises so they hurry to buy the asset again in order to do so at a lower price. As a result, the price rises even higher and more shorts buy back, resulting in a greater loss for everyone. This leads to a price increase known as a short squeeze, which is a vicious cycle. Shorting an asset can be a nightmare, while owning an asset regularly can be a blessing. Clarence Sanders was the man behind the 1920s Piggly Wiggly grocery business. Traders on Wall Street decided to short the company's shares, so he responded by fighting back. He took out a $10 million loan in order to purchase a large proportion of his own shares. The price went from $39 to $124 because he bought as much Piggly Wiggly as he could. It was an audacious attempt to create a short squeeze and it came close to being successful. However, the shorters just escaped with their lives and Clarence has lost everything. Consequently, such events are unexpected and pose a significant danger to all parties are involved. Based on the Qcoin Hell page, shorting is to sell high and buy low, profiting when the market falls. Using Bitcoin as an example, if the user believes the Bitcoin is about to fall, they can go short by borrowing Bitcoin to sell. Once Bitcoin falls, they buy enough Bitcoin to repay their Bitcoin liabilities with the remaining assets serving as their profit. Today, I'll be showing you how to short in a trading platform, Qcoin. First though, let's visit the Qcoin website. In order to short, leverage tokens are the most straightforward one to use. Go to the trade section of Qcoin and select spot trading. Type Bitcoin 3S into the asset field at the top of the screen. Typing this will make a threefold decrease in the value of your token. In order to keep things simple, I'm placing a $100 market order. Once you've clicked the buy button, you're ready to go. 
When Bitcoin drops by 1%, I'll make $3 on this $100 investment. Next, we'll talk about margins. On the right side of this page, you'll notice the order book. As far as I know, that's who's selling and who's purchasing. A transaction may be made in the lower right corner. If you're trying to short, make sure the margin is listed. Now, keep in mind that borrowing money is what you're doing when you use margin. This indicates that you'll have to pay a fee. If you keep the position open for a lengthy period of time, that rate might quickly become high. It is more common, however, for a transaction to be completed quickly if the position is short. Make sure to tick the boxes for auto borrow and auto repay in order to speed up the borrowing procedure. Simply click on the transfer icon and complete the transfer. We'll now head to the sell tab at the bottom right. Depending on how the margin is currently set, it will multiply it to your deposited balance. That's how much you can spend. Shorting Bitcoin now requires us to go over and sell Bitcoin in Bitcoin. Limited and market orders are two options available. Limit and market orders are the two options available to you next. In order to get an exact price, use a limit order. In the tab below, you'll see all of your open orders. Market orders are the opposite of that. When you use this, you're executing the deal at the greatest available price. When you believe that the price has already begun to decline, this is a beneficial tool. In order to acquire Bitcoin, choose market order and enter the amount you wish to purchase. You must safeguard your interests when shorting. A lot of money might be lost if the price rises too high. With a stop order, you may restrict your losses. If the position reaches a certain price or beyond, it will be sold and you may now close the position. Instead of selling your Bitcoin to terminate the trade, you'll purchase it back in the same amount. All of your debts will be automatically repaid if auto repay is on, so long as you have sufficient funds. You can also choose to pay on hand by clicking the repay option, selecting Bitcoin, and then checking the numbers and confirming. Now, what do you think about shorting? Is it something you're likely to consider? I would like to know your thoughts and experiences on this in the comment section below. And if you know someone that might be interested in this video, then share this link for them to watch. That's all for today. If you learned something new, like this video and make sure you hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our uploads. Kindly subscribe if you haven't already. This is Chad Confirmed, signing off.